Hello and welcome back to my channel, C Sharp, where we learn about Windows Forms applications and how to use um, the controls and basically run programs in C Sharp using Win Forms, Windows Forms application. In this video, we're going to learn about the picture box and how to populate the picture box with a picture from our, our computer. And we're going to use different events um, to prompt the file dialog, um, the location from where the picture is going to come from. So let's start the program project. So let's go to File, New, Project. And we're going to click on Visual C Sharp Windows Forms Application and rename it. We'll call it Picture Set. Okay, okay. Once the program runs, we're going to get a picture box. Alright. Scroll down to P and get a picture box. Let's rescale that, resize it, and we also want a button. So let's get a button right here. And let's change the text in that button to set. Right. And we're going to change the name of that button to set as well. And let's double click, or rather, let's click on the button and then go to the events and double click on that event. And let's write the code to open the file dialog and post a picture into the picture box. So we're going to start by, by writing open file dialog, which is where the picture is going to come from. The picture coming from the computer, you need um, a dialog box. From where you can navigate through your desktop or so on and so forth to find the picture. That's what that does, right? Now we're going to use the show variable in its place. And then now we need to filter because there are different um, formats pictures come in. And we need to state what format we, we want to get from the computer, what format the pictures are in. And we're going to use a couple of them. Not all of them, but just a couple um, for the sake of the video and for the sake of learning. So if you have any formats you would like to use, you can just um, put them in this filter where I'm typing the information right now. <clears throat> so. I'm not going to use all of the formats, I'm just going to use some, just the ones that I have my pictures in. Right. I mean, it's just JPEG, um, I also have some in BPM, um, I also have some in PNG. Save them with a semicolon. And after that, we need an if statement, um, which is going to say that once we click on the button, we want once we click on the button and select an image, we want it to do the following. We want to get the location for the path of where the picture we have chosen is from and we're going to set or rather put the path location into the picture box so we'll write the name of the picture box we're going to say image location is equal to the location a location um, I actually misspelled location is why I can't find this location. Right. And let's run the program and see if it works. So we're going to click on the button. And this is a dialog. So we have pictures and let's select the picture. So 
coconut and it works how it's supposed to work and then now um since the code works we want to let's use a text box just to see where the path location is all right so let's go to the toolbox and get a text box and here it is and let's just call that text box text box location And let's go back to our button and write the name of the text box being text box location. The text equals to the string, this string location, because this string location has the file name or rather the path of where the, where the picture is. So once we run the program and we select a picture. You can see the file name or the path of where the picture is. So it's in my C drive, in my users, in my admin, in my pictures, and then this is where this is where it is. And it's in JPG format, right? So now let's have a bit of fun with the code and let's use the event double click. And not only will we use the event double click, we're going to use the event double click for the picture box so when we double click right here we want the open file dialog to open and then to be able to set a picture instead of using the click event right so let's just um, click on our picture box and go to events and we're going to select double click this double click event and double just double click on it and it takes you here and we're gonna copy this code right the code that we that we wrote and we're gonna paste it here and we're also going to go it just so we can see where the picture box is we're going to put a background image just for the sake of seeing the picture box because without it we, we won't be able to see the picture box right and let's say okay and then we will set the background image layout to stretch so it fits into yeah. so now once we run the code and we double click right here but what my cursor is right now we want the open file dialog to work and we want to be able to set a picture all right so I'm going to double click right here and it works and now I can change the picture to whatever I want and you can see the path that the code works but this image is still there it doesn't fill it completely but I can double click again and I can say ok it fits yeah. Basically, the code works how it's supposed to work, and we've used two events, being the, um, the click event and the double click. And if you find any other event here that you would like to use in terms of um, drag over or drag drop, you can use them. And in later videos, that you stick around, I'm going to show you how to use a drag drop if you don't know how to use it already the drag lift, the drag enter, drag over, these ones. So thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe, share the video. Thank you.